Hello, in this video we'll be looking at how you can password protect Excel and Word documents and I'm not talking about for using it on the full programs and this is for your Chromebook, I'm referring to the web versions. Now I looked into this and it's quite strange because it's the same with Google Docs. Now I know I did a video a few weeks ago how you can password protect Google Docs but it wasn't a great method. I was just trying to give some methods because it essentially puts an Excel document or a Word document into a PDF so that isn't really that great. So I wanted to try and do it with Google Docs but I also use Microsoft 365 on my Chromebook so I'm using Word and Excel the web versions. Now, when you look at anything online, go onto Google and can you do this? Even with Google, Google Docs, not so much. So you do get the information back that it's not possible. But when you look for it for Word and Excel using Microsoft 365, so not the full programs, there's a lot of blogs that says, yes, you can. So I was looking at this for quite some time and I was like, I'm not convinced how you can and nothing looked like it was saying it could. And even sometimes on a Microsoft website it was suggesting you can. So there's a lot of confusion around it. And I was thinking it's just not possible. It's saying you can and you can't. So I even checked with AI. So I thought I'd see what AI thinks on the matter. And AI, believe it or not, also suggested, oh yes, that's absolutely fine, you can. And this was also with Google Docs and I tried the methods and it just didn't work and it was saying to do it certain ways and I was going back saying this doesn't work and it was saying it does and I went it doesn't because step four where you said to do this doesn't exist and then it would come back saying you're right and then it would give me another method and I'd go back saying that doesn't work and it says you're right and then it would give me another method and it wasn't until I was had enough of AI telling me I could do something when I knew I couldn't and I said look you're giving me all this information, none of it works, stop gaslighting me, just admit that you can't do it. And it was only at that stage that the AI then turned around and admitted, yes, it's not possible, you've got to use third party software. Really strange that it took so long to give me the answer that it's not possible. So I, although there is third party software to do different things, and I may look at them in other videos in the future, when it comes to using passwords and stuff like that, Although third party is okay, ideally you want to try and use password within the actual programs you're using. So for Google Docs, I'm going to say now that there's nothing within inside Google Docs itself where you can create a password for Google Docs or Google Sheets. And also it's the same for Microsoft 365, the online apps, but there is a workaround. So if you try to go on to the 365, so say for example, if we went on here and we went on to Word or we went on to Excel, all of these are web-based apps. So if we open up one of these, for example, so let's just do a blank workbook and then create a new workbook from OneDrive. I don't know why it's saying that. I've only just installed this again, so apologies. Let's just open up an old one. So let's just open up an old Excel file. There's nothing in here, which is absolutely fine. Everything you read online just says, oh yeah, it's fine. Just go to save as, click on info, and then you'll have protect workbook. Just simply click on that and type in the password, but it doesn't work. There's, there's no option for it. Um, so it's the same with Excel online, a word online, the same as Google Docs online. So it's, it, it's a tad frustrating that you can't um, because apart from this isn't exactly like the full Excel program, but it is quite like it. You know, there is a lot here which you can do on, on the actual web version, which is very good, it, it's great, but it's not giving you all of the functionality the full program must give you. So the only way around it, which is not going to be for everyone, is that you will need to have access to either a Windows PC, but only once. You, know, you don't necessarily need to have it all the time, and I'll discuss that in a bit later in the video. It's not going to be perfect for everyone, but you don't have to do it once, or you just need to have Windows installed on your Chromebook so you can do it. If you want to know how to do that, I've got a video on how you can install Windows on your Chromebook. I've just installed Windows again on this Chromebook. It didn't take that long because I've done it a few times now. It's pretty quick. The time is just how long it takes to set up and stuff like that. So. 
Essentially, if you try to create a password using the web app versions, it simply does not work. But if you go into Windows, I'll just go into my Windows here on my Chromebook. If you go into Windows, and I'll do it for Excel, and I'll do it for Word, maybe a few syncing issues. It's taken a while for my files to sync with OneDrive, but hopefully that's been resolved now. So if we go into Excel, so this is the full version of the programs that I'm using. So if we go into Excel here, let's wait for that to load up. It's gonna take some time because I'm recording my screen as well and I've got Windows open, so just wait for that to come through. Okay, so if we just do a blank workbook, And here, just put, you don't have to do this obviously, I've just shown you so you, you can tell I'm using the same um, file. So password protect and Excel file. And then from here, so this is the full version, when you go to file and then you do save as, I'll save the file first. So I'll save the file I'll save it to OneDrive and I'm going to put it in Windows 10 Acer CX5. I've created a folder so all of the window installs, this window install on here, most of the files I'm going to use, I'm going to put them inside here just so I know where they are. And if I put them in there, put it in Excel, I'm just going to put password protected Excel doc. I think I've done that right. Yep. And just do save. Wait for that to save. And then if you then go to file, it's taking some time. It wasn't doing this earlier. So I apologize. File. And then info. Like that. And then from here, the full version looks similar to the web version. There's obviously these extra options down here, but the protect workbook, when you click on here, it does give you the option to add passwords. So I'm just gonna create a password. Let's put whatever you want it to be. Let's put basic one in, and then you need to put it in again, like that, and then okay. Now, obviously, when you go to, if I just close that down now, when you go to, and I'll just save the file, when you use this file with inside a full version of Windows, of course, it's going to ask you for the password because you can just see that I've added a password. So I'll show you how that works. So it's this file here. Just open that up. and it will ask you for the password, which is great. But what's also good is that actually, although there is not an option on the web apps for Excel and Word, it does carry over that password when you open in documents on the web version. Bit strange, it's a shame they haven't got the functionality, but it does work. So if we now go to here and go onto Chrome, and then I'll open up Microsoft 365. Now this is the syncing issue. Let's hope it syncs. If not, I have done the one I've done earlier, but um, let's hope that it does sync because it took a while for this folder to show up in here. So let's have a look. I don't think it will be showing just yet if I'm being honest with you. Oh no, looks like it's there, so that's good. So it's been syncing pretty good. I did have a syncing issue earlier. So this is the file that I've just created with inside Windows, but I've saved it to OneDrive. So to save it to OneDrive, you saw how I did it in Excel, um, and that's all you need to do. Um, and then if we go back to where we were, and I had OneDrive open, there it is there. So that's this file here. Now we're gonna be opening this file, but not within Windows, we're gonna be opening this within Microsoft 365. And then if you open that up, 
although you're using the web version of Excel, it still asks you for the password. So that's really good. So it's really strange that you don't have the functionality to set a password in 365 when you're using the web versions. But if you create it initially in the full program, then you can use it. So that's really good. So if you put in the wrong password, for example, it will say that's wrong. So put in the correct password now and it will let you in like that. So that's really good. Um, now, the, the thing with that is obviously, like I said, you'd need to use Windows. If you've got Windows installed on your Chromebook, it's not so bad. If you don't have a Microsoft Windows computer, I appreciate that it may not be possible, but if you've got access to a Microsoft computer, you could perhaps do a one-off file. And then this is where it's not perfect, but the only way I can see around it, unless you can use um, Windows, on a regular basis, so you might not have a Chromebook where you can install Windows, for example, you may want to then be using app um, documents with inside Microsoft 365 that are always password protected. So the only way around that, and it isn't the best way I'll admit, but the only way I can see going forward is, so it may not be perfect for any Excel documents, Word documents you've currently got set up, what you could do, instead of creating a brand new Word document, so instead of going brand new Word document or brand new Excel document every time you want to do it, you could essentially use the password protected file as a template because you could still have that empty. The only thing with that is obviously that password you can't change with inside the app versions. So the password would always be the same. So if you want to share files and you want to have different files, different passwords, different files may not be perfect. But if you just want to be able to use, get access to files on the cloud or from, from Microsoft 365, the app versions and you just want to make sure they're protected within there and you don't mind having the same password you could do that so instead of just doing a new excel document you could always use this as a template so then when you go in there like that and you type in the password that password will always be there and then just no thanks this would be a brand new spreadsheet that you can use however you want and then you would simply, when it comes to saving it, go to File, Save As. From here, the best way is to go like that, File, Save As. And from here, it doesn't, actually the best way to save a file, if I'm being honest with you, is to click up here and put in what you want the file name to be. So you can choose the location, so you could change it to a different location with OneDrive, like that. Or what you could do here, for example, I'll leave it in the same location, but I'll change the file name to new Excel file, or whatever you want it to be. So I know it's not perfect in that way, because you're having to use the same one all the time. But if you had a template, for example, if we go in here, go to Excel, sorry, I didn't want to open that then, that one there, which is password protected, you could copy that. So copy to, just leave it in the same place like that. And you could rename one like that and do rename and then just call it Excel templates. And then you could, if you wanted to, if you wanted to, if you, you'd forget what it was in the future, password, rename that like that. And then what you could do then is you could move that to the root of your My Files. So it's always there. So if you just hold that down, it doesn't always drag and drop. If you just right click on that and do move to, and then just go to My Files like that. So this is the root of your OneDrive and just put move here. Okay. And then if you go to OneDrive, it isn't, the syncing does take some time, unfortunately, but there you can see there, you've got your Excel template password. So it's not perfect. How you do it and how you set it up is entirely up to you. 
but it does mean that you can always start using it from there and you'll know that it will have a password protection in. And although we've copied this file and we've changed the name, if you open it up, it will still have that password option there. So that is one way to do it. So I know it's not perfect, but that's the only workaround I can see if you want to set up a password with inside the actual program using the password functionality that is available on the full programs. And it will be the same with Word. I'll just quickly show you in case you want to know how to do it in Word. Not that I've actually done it in Word, but I'm sure it's roughly the same. So if you open up Word with inside Windows, and then just create a blank document like that. And then just put, um, I'll just call it password template. It's a bit slow, the reaction time. It is there, right, we get there in the end. And then if we go to file and go to info i did save as previously you didn't have to do it that way you could have just done it this way at first just go to file info protect documents encrypt with password put in a password repeat the password like that that's fine then do save as I'll put it in the root of the C drive like that. And then just call it word template. This may take a while to show up and then just put password like that because it needs to sync. So that's done. So just to show you we've inside Windows, obviously that password will work, but I'll also show you inside the using the Word app on your Chromebook rather than having Windows. But obviously if we did try and open it with inside Windows, let me show you the password. The reason I'm doing this first is because I'm giving it time to sync because it's not going to show in the cloud just yet. And then if we go to um, OneDrive and then the word template password like that it will obviously ask you for a password which is great and if that's now synced over to OneDrive I'll show you on the Chromebook so if we go here, go to my files, refresh. Yeah, it's there. So there you've got that template. So there you've got a Word template for a password and an Excel template for a password. And if you open up that Word document, before it lets you open it, it will ask you for a password. So I know it's not ideal because it does mean, unless you've got access each time, it does mean one, you'd have to use these templates and then rename it. So when you're inside here and you've got that, you'd want to rename every file just by doing that there, which is fine. That, that's what you'd want to do anyway. You want loads of files with all the same name. The only thing I can see which isn't perfect is it does mean just having the same password for all of them. Not great, but it's the only workaround I could really find if you wanted to use it with inside the password functionality that's available with inside Excel and Word. Um, so I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos because I'll be doing lots more videos trying to help on workarounds and different ways you can do things. Some of them aren't going to be perfect, I'm afraid, um, and that's just the way it is, but hopefully this has helped. If it did, like I said, please subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching.